So quiet up here, eh? Paragliding is pretty dangerous, but less than a month after my worst ever crash, I was back in the hills, hiking, flying, and camping through the amazing landscapes of the Dolomites. Low to get through this pass before, and it's quite a long crossing afterwards. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but it's only 10 kilometres from home. I think I've got a pretty special chamois around here somewhere. It's only a couple of minutes after midday and uh, this doesn't quite work out to plan but it wasn't a little thermal then but just at a, a spectacular place just behind Baluno and the Dolomites there we go look at this got to climb off one of those lower ridges and work my way up those cliffs there weren't working that's the way I've come from Oh, it's just an amazing place, eh? I'm through, and what a cool little hut perched on the ridge. Getting up to 7,000 feet. Maybe around the corner. Yeah, it's like Felcher, the mountains become shaded, so you have to come out of it to get a climb. All this our limestone means there's no water anywhere, not on the surface anyway. Well, we're looking for a bit back in here. That was shit, but it was okay with my ankle at least. Not the nicest place to land. It would have been fine if I'd been nimble on my feet, but yeah, just having a picnic and uh, bread and cheese. What else? A few paragliders out there too. So this is the rock bivy and there actually is water. The wind's good so I don't want to waste it. Want some wind on in. Very good. So landed down there, checked out the bivy, which is actually a rock bivy. Got some water from some friendly Italians and had a drink at the uh, there's actually a drink tray at the rock pit and put some snow on my camel back. Now I'm going to camp either here or maybe cross again. Oh, good. So I've pitched my tent but it's actually only a couple of k's to the refuge where the close to the main launch. So I'm going to go there and try and charge up my phone and get a feed and uh, yeah, have your cake and eat it. It's a slow morning above Baluno in the southeastern Dolomites. Some showers came through and yeah, I pitched a tent after flying here yesterday and went down to the refuge, recharged, had a meal and it's been 12 hours since I got back. So launch right next to camp after waiting for the morning showers and looking out there it looks like there might be a few more later. Hello! Yeah they were pretty excited so I thought I'd go out and let them know what's up. So the cave is just left of that grassy pole. Than cloud base up here, and it seems like the area which was sunny before is starting to overdevelop. So, 
yeah, it's gonna be about being the right place at the right time today, I think. Look at this place, eh? Birds are singing, sun's out. Pretty epic. Yeah, it's some good lift around, but I'm pretty keen on not going into the clouds today. I feel like I could just video this whole flight non-stop. There's so much scenery to it. So it's kind of shady here. It looks a bit like you make the sandcastles by dripping uh, wet sand, eh? And I'm thinking about going around that way. That wasn't the original plan, but here the cloud base is pretty low, the passes are pretty high. Fells at Angle. I hitched it right up here. The wind's coming through. I wouldn't have been able to get through. I've been this flight, so I've come low, we're relatively low across those cliffs. I'm pretty sure that's the Marmalada for uh, Cal Forster. And I've kind of soared up this, worked those cliffs a bit. Now just popped over into these ones. But, oh, it seems to be sinking out, but it's a beautiful waterfall here. I saw one just before it went back underground again. Figured out where I'm gonna land, but see what happens, eh? I was just thinking about landing to camp, and then I got the thermal to the highest point of the flight so far, so I think that means you can keep flying for now. There's a couple of refugios there, be good to recharge my phone and everything, but I've still got my battery packs, so yeah. Good times. It's about 10 past 7. Okay, it would have been nice to land a bit higher, but this is my backup plan. Chopper. Oh, water. Brilliant. So five to nine and I'm still going. It's like the X-Alps. Yeah, I uh, tried to get something out of this valley but landed at that hut down there. But it was awesome because there was uh, some water. No offense to these cows, but they are pretty stupid. They want to have a look at the wing. I don't think I'll do it this way again, but I flew down uh, look for somewhere to put my tent, so I pitched it so it's nice and dry now in the sun. And then walked down into town, had a wash on the way, and uh, actually ended up catching the bus back up. I tried hitching, but the bus stopped for me in the middle of the road, so that was all good. So now time to eat what I can and head up the hill and go fly. Kronplatz. Maybe that's why they call it Kronplatz, the bells are ringing. Under 8,500 feet, not much higher than Kronplatz, hopefully enough to make the crossing into the Anvolz Valley. Working pretty well, tailwind, good climbs. Climb got better, so I stayed in it, so good news of the Dolomites, Kronplatz. I'm all over in the back there somewhere. Calm. Yeah, nice day, eh? Anvolz. Say hello to these. 
people on the mountain. Pretty nice up here, eh? Getting close to Lyons and uh, all these valleys joined together. I'm going to have to figure out what to do. Valley wind being the main problem. Maybe. Well, this isn't a house thermal, it's a church thermal. I'll take anything. So earlier when I crossed I thought the clouds might have been marking the valley wind convergence and yeah the valley wind's coming this way so when I crossed it there it was shit and I nearly got wiped out but this might save me because uh, wind is coming on. Good. So I'm wearing everything, well I've only got shorts but um, just got moving again because it's so cold and the wind and the shade. But old mate up here, this bit is back on the ridge, hot belly, <laughs> shorts and a singlet mate, no worries. I said you're not cold mate, he said oh, nice. I think he's mad. Ground speed to a three knots and I had 40 knots the other way so it's going to be a lot easier to fly to the north than this way. I'll just persist a little bit. But yeah, rain tonight and most of tomorrow so yeah. It seems like I'm out of the upper wind but there definitely seems to be some wave related stuff going on like I went through some pretty rough air there. Too bad, but when you don't fully understand what's happening, it can be pretty nerve-wracking and figure out what to do next. I've been really slow stopping and starting today, but I'm actually really impressed with this walk through the forest. I love large trees. But I've got to find a camp soon, I think. There is an elm, but um, snow. Austrian Alpine Club hut. A bit too fancy for me. So I was a bit indecisive but finally ended up camping under those trees there. And pretty comfortable, great little tent. Had it for four years now. And uh, this, then after the storms cleared, it was clear to fly down into the valley but everything was wet and I just couldn't be bothered so last night so Right now there's still rumbles of thunder. I think hot chocolate was a good move. Sometimes you see the mist rising up and it just looks like it's going up so fast. It's like launch now. But yeah, there's really nowhere to go at the moment. I'm going to wait a little bit. The phone's on charge still. And uh, give it a bit longer then. They told me there's a, a launch um, about a K up. So pretty perfect. And this space uh, is more of an afternoon space anyway. Perfect launching conditions. And uh, the ridge goes about 30 k's this way, so probably that's the best option. Crossing over there looks pretty bleak. Longest left of the day, just four. There we go. Pretty awesome work. Well, I just got a climb from over the forest. It was very uh, nicely to start with. Uh, I mean, it was just hard to find the lift. It was under 4,000 feet. But hung in there. I kind of knew the climb would be here because the sun and the clouds and wind made it a likely spot. But no birds to help me. Look at this, it's over development. I've come from down this way. 
I see like a, what looks like a pylon up there on the ridge. Oh, it's a cross. Well, you can have a look at the clouds from home and tell me which way I should go. Pretty epic considering it was blood out in storms this morning. This is a lazy way to get to Slovenia and uh, just worked out our average ascent rate is 50 meters a minute so yeah less than a meter a second not much of a thermal. I'm a bit embarrassed I'm even attempting this but I don't have any other options around here and there's a little gully here and as soon as I could I crossed over because I thought the wind was coming out more this way but then there was actually actually going that way quite a bit Pretty strange. Must be one of the highest ratios of para waiting. I reckon at least an hour to flying around about a minute I reckon. I'm still walking down the hill. But I think tomorrow I'll have a crack at Mangart. You can see where I launched and landed yesterday, those two little fields. Um there was a bit hopeless. Doing some key development but it's pretty low down there and you can see the mist whizzing through the pass I felt the wind from a couple a few several hundred meters below the pass forgot to mention that shopping bag which isn't the most convenient for scrambling over loose uh, rocks so here we are the Slovenian side all right so I just noticed there's actually someone flying so I think I'm an hour too late here it's 11 a.m. and not much sun more rain than sun but I don't want to stay up on this hill. It is even worse tomorrow, I think. So, Let's see what we can do. Pretty amazing spot, anyway. Such an intimidating place. I keep thinking, how do they make this XL to do? Like it's only allowed to take off from that spot. It's supposed to take like a, how the hell do you get out of here? This bridge is working for me now, it's uh, really nice. drop of uh, rain around but it's like so yeah I didn't notice the fire from just around the corner from the first flight but uh yeah Soccer Valley down that way Tongan down there and the ocean down that way very nice just over 6,000 feet looks like I'm pretty close to cloud base oh this is great very satisfying just surfing up the ridge smooth raining pretty close to where I just was. I was going to be moving in that direction anyway. The spike is out where it's quite bright and uh, some nice cues out there, a bit of sunshine. And I'm um, hoping to meet up with them there um, with the help of Tomo who's going to give me a lift apparently. So we'll just come this way, launches over the hill and uh, just found out the official landing where uh, Tom is going to wait for me, so let's go! Soccer River! How fun are we going? <laughs> so then it was a long drive with Tomo out to the Yuck, which is a really popular paragliding site. And that's where I met Spike, who gave me a lift back with his Polish group back to Dolmites. Bit of rotation there. Oh. Oh, another one! Spiral! Yeah, so that's why you do the roll patrol. Oh, yeah. 